Hi and welcome to 6 Minute Math. Sa video na to, aalamin natin kung paano mag-identify ng functions using equation. In identifying functions sa isang equation, it is important that you know what is the meaning of function. Sabi sa function, in every value of x, there should be exactly one value of y. So ang gagawin natin sa isang equation, hanapin natin yung value na y. And then, i-check natin kung kapag nag-substitute ba tayo ng value ng x, magiging isa lang yung value ng y natin. So, let's have example number 1. Determine if the given equation is a function or not. x plus y is equal to 7. So, in our equation, ang kailangan lang natin makuha is the value of y. So, we need to remove the value of x sa left-hand side ng equation natin. To remove the value of x on the left-hand side of the equation, kailangan nating mag-add nung additive inverse ng x para matanggal siya. So, the additive inverse ng x is negative x. So, negative x, kung i-add natin siya sa left-hand side ng equation, i-add din natin siya sa right-hand side of the equation. So, our equation now will become x plus y plus negative x is equal to 7 plus negative x. Again, saan nang galing si negative x? Si negative x yung additive inverse ng ating positive x. So, x plus negative x now will become 0. And then, our equation now will become y is equal to 7 minus x. Arranging this equation, this equation now will become y is equal to negative x plus 7. Since isa lang yung value ng y natin which is negative x plus 7, this equation is a function. Kung hindi ka pa rin sure kung bakit naging isa lang yung value ng y for this equation, mag-try tayo mag-substitute ng value ng x. So, let's say, your x is equal to positive 2. If x is equal to positive 2, then our equation now will become y is equal to negative 2 plus 7. y now is equal to negative 2 plus 7 and then y is equal to positive 5. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong value ng x ang isubstitute natin dito sa equation na to, isa lang yung lalabas na value ng y. Let's have example number 1, letter B. Example number 1, letter B, again, kailangan nating matanggal yung mga kasama ni y on the left hand side of the equation. So, to remove x squared and minus 5 sa left-hand side ng equation, i-add natin yung additive inverse nila pareho on both sides of the equation. Our equation now will become x squared plus y minus 5. This is the original value dun sa left-hand side ng equation natin. While negative x squared, ito yung additive inverse ni x squared. And then, si positive 5, the additive inverse of negative 5. Next, kung nag-add tayo na ng negative x squared at positive 5 on the left-hand side of the equation, mag add din tayo ng negative x squared and positive 5 sa right-hand side ng equation. Simplifying this, our equation now will become y is equal to negative x squared plus 5. Next, kung mapapansin nyo, isa lang ulit yung value ng y natin, and that is negative x squared plus 5. Therefore, this equation is a function. Kung hindi ka pa rin sure, mag-substitute tayo ng any value of x sa equation na to. Let's say x is equal to 3. If x is equal to 3, then y now is equal to negative 3 squared plus 5. 3 squared or 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Our equation now is y is equal to negative 9 plus 5. And then negative 9 plus 5 is equal to negative 4. Again, since isa lang yung value ng y natin, if x is equal to 3, therefore this equation is a function.